today we will discuss sum of i i d random variable i i d means independent and identically distributed let the random variables x1 x2 x3 etc xn be independent and identically distributed random variables then z is, and z is equal to x1 plus x2 plus etc etc that means z is the sum of i i d random variables now first we find the mean of z mean of z and by the definition mean of z means it is the expected value of z and since z e is linear we can find e of we can write e of z as e of x1 plus e of x2 plus etc plus e of xn e of z means mu z now i wrote in place of x1 x in place of x2 x the reason is x1 x2 and xn they are identically distributed their distribution is same they, therefore their mean is also same so we have e of x e of x e of x that is how many times n times e of x so which is equal to n into e of x means mean value of x <coughs> therefore mean value of z is equal to n times mean value of x similarly we can find variance of z how to find variance of z variance of z square is equal to first i will write variance of x1 square variance of x2 square etc variance of xn square the reason is x1 x2 etc xn are independent when this one we already proved in our uh, previous video so sigma z square variance of z is same as variance of x1 plus variance of x2 etc variance of xn if x1 x2 etc are independent variables are independent now this is equal to sigma x square this is also sigma x x square etc sigma x square the reason is uh, the variables are identically distributed so this is how many times sigma x square n times sigma x square therefore variance of z is uh, n times variance of the random variable x square which follows the same distribution so next we will see what is a similarly we can find the characteristic function of z so what is the characteristic function of z according to the uh, since once again x1 x2 etc xn are independent we know that the characteristic function of z is same as the character product of the characteristic function of uh, independent random variables x1 x2 etc xn once again since they are identically distributed we can we can replace x1 by x x2 by x etc xn by x so which is equal to phi x of omega whole power yes uh, now we will see what is uh, central limit theorem the central limit theorem which according to our syllabus states that if the random variables x size has finite mean you have to note that here it is finite mean and variance then the probability density function of z which is sum of those random variable approaches the gaussian gaussian means normal distribution as n converges to infinity so <clears throat> we'll consider one simple example this we have <clears throat> this we have done in the last video just refer my last video to see this if you take the convolution of two ran, uh, two distributions which are uniform distributions then you will get the distribution f z of z <coughs> f z of z as z varies from 0 to 1 its value is z <coughs> and as z varies from 1 to 2 its value is 2 minus z so you will find a triangle curve here now similarly if you add to this triangular curve then a one more random variable probability density function which follows <coughs> which follows uh, uniform distribution then the convolution uh, will gives us a curve if you draw that curve <coughs> you will find a curve which is almost similar to the normal distribution therefore as n gets large <coughs> the sum the probability density function of this sum that means f z of z converges to a gaussian distribution now <coughs> we will come we will see 
the average of the random variables why we are considering this we have seen that the sum of iids if you take the sum of iids their vary i mean their mean is n times mean of x that means as n gets large the mean gets large similarly the variance also gets large but we want the mean to be finite how to have mean to be finite and mean and variance to be finite then we should take the averages of those random variables so that's why we consider so that we can use the central limit theorem so that <coughs> therefore we will consider the average of those random variables so once again take this uh, statement if x is i is equal to 1 2 3 etc n or iid random variables then y which is equal to 1 by n times summation i is equal to 1 to n xi is called the average average of the random variable xi now <coughs> we'll see the mean of the average of the random variable is is a finite and also the variance is finite that means if y is equal to 1 by n summation of i is equal to 1 to n xi then mu y is equal to mu x finite value and sigma y square is equal to sigma x square by n that is also a finite value so prove given y is equal to y is equal to 1 by n times summation i is equal to 1 to n x i that means x 1 by n plus x 2 by n plus etc plus x n by n that is therefore expected value of y is equal to expected value of x 1 by n plus expected value of x 2 by n plus etc plus expected value of x n by n once again this can be written as written as expected value of x by n plus expected value of x by n plus etc plus expected value of x by n because x1 x2 x x x etc xn are identically distributed so this is nothing this is equal to n times expected value of x by n so what is expected value of x by n mu x divided by n so therefore this is equal to mu x therefore expected value of y that is mu y is equal to mu x similarly <coughs> v of y is equal to v of x1 by n plus v of x2 by n plus etc plus v of xn by n now this is because x1 x2 etc xn are independent therefore this is next step is this is equal to v of this is same as x by n plus v of x by n plus etc plus v of x by n here note that x is equal to either x1 x2 etc xn is it clear so x by n now this is how many times v of x by n n times v of x by n now what is v of x by n variance of x by n this is equal to n times expected value of x by n minus its mean what is mean of x by n mu x by n whole square this is equal to n into expected value of x minus mu x whole square divided by n square or this is equal to n cancels 1 n cancels so 1 by n times n divided by n square is 1 by n times expected value of x minus mu x whole square this is equal to 1 by n times so what is expected value of x minus mu x whole square sigma x square yes, now we will move to the problem 
So the problem is the random variable capital XI have same mean mu X which is equal to 4 and the variance 1.5. If Z is sum of the random variables I varies from 1 to 150 that means N is 150 then determine the mean uh, value of the random variable Z as well as its variance. Also for Y the random variable y which is the average of these x i's 1 by 50 times so summation i is equal to 150 then determine its mean mean of y and variance so solution is very simple we know that if z is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to 150 times x i then we have proved that mean of z is n times here n is 150 then mean of z is equal to how much n into mean of x so n into mu x so what is n in this problem n is 150 into what is mu x mu x is 4 so this is uh, equal to 600 similarly similarly sigma z square is equal to n times sigma x square so in this problem n is how much 150 into what is sigma x square it is 1.5 150 into 1.5 if you do the calculations you will get 2 into 225 225 similarly for this average similarly for y is equal to 150 summation i is equal to 1 to 150 xi what is mu y mu y is equal to mu x that means this is equal to how much mu x 4 and similarly what is sigma y square sigma y square is sigma x square divided by n sigma x square divided by n so in this case sigma x square is how much 1.5 divided by what is n n is uh, 150 therefore this is equal to how much it is this is equal to if you do the calculation you will find 0 0.01